Today we're going to be talking about sat navs and specifically today this is the TomTom Start 62. As well as being a standalone sat nav with a beautiful screen on there, uh, it's got an anti-reflective coating which is pretty good. The viewing angle is pretty good. It doesn't wobble around so much. Um, obviously it's touch screen. It's a Bluetooth hands-free device for your phone as well. So the screen's really clear. Everything's easy to use. It's the typical TomTom system. If you've not used it before, it just means that everything's quite simple and basic, but it works really well. Uh, the only issue I've had with it so far is inputting a postcode for what would be a rural location. So basically it was a campsite by the side of a lake um, the road didn't have a name to it, it just had like the A6874 or whatever. Um, and I couldn't locate this via the postcode that the campsite gave me or the road name either. Uh, not even the area came up. What I had to do in the end, and you can do it by two things, is you can put the postcode into Google and get the uh, latitude and longitude locations. And then this accepts uh, latitude and longitude um, coordinates or you can otherwise do it basically where you pinch to zoom on a map move it around and then say there I want to go there take me there now and that seems to work fine too so a couple of glitches on there thought I would just make them clear otherwise it's been absolutely flawless so it's got its own battery inside there that lasts around about 25 minutes to half an hour uh, it's also got a micro USB connector at the back there to charge it um, and it's charged in around about sort of like an hour and a half as well so that's pretty good too. The speakers aren't really the best in the world but I would say if you're driving down the motorway and you've got a bit of music on it's not too loud you can still hear it quite clearly. Sweet sad love story. Don't you miss Annette Bell and Jamie Bell and Julie Walters in Film Star Don't Die in Liverpool and make your bank account for a real time After picture of your business finances. The back actually does allow you to mount this in several positions so the suction cup there can be mounted to the windscreen and you can mount it you know, in that position if you wanted to or you can spin it round and mount it like that or spin it back round Ooh, and mount it from the back uh, once it's mounted the suction cup's pretty good uh, sticking to the table at the moment okay sticks to glass even better obviously um, and it is just a twist on the back there and that locks it into position once it's locked it's not moving anywhere if it's on glass or whatever and then twist it back off pull the tabs and you can get it off that falls away even comes with a little pouch pop it in there pop it away out of the car um, or take it away with you if you don't want to leave it in the car um, but overall it was a really good system it, this one specifically came with european maps on there but you can add extra maps to it that's very easy um, it has the ability to tell you about certain uh, points of interest so petrol stations you know um, national trust sites and it'll also tell you about speed cameras and obviously places where accidents happen accident hotspots so screen size is six inches so even at that kind of distance you know it's easy to see and the touch screen is quite responsive as well um, and overall it just performs really well it's very clear it's the typical kind of thing that you would expect from TomTom that it gives you lane departure warnings, it gives you speed um, limit warnings as well. So if you're in a 30 zone, you're going over 30, it'll tell you. And obviously if you need to pull off on a certain lane, it'll say so many yards or meters to go, depends on obviously you've set it to imperial or metric. Um, and then it'll say, you know, the next junction, it's the next left or the next junction, you know, turn around or all that kind of thing. Now, one of the biggest things that I, have an issue with sat navs they're not always accurate sometimes they can take you down a one-way street the wrong way or they'll try to or the best one is where they'll try and take you down a road that actually isn't a road anymore um you know and at that point you're left stuck what do i do now so the biggest thing for me is the time it takes to recalculate a route um, it takes around about three to five seconds so in the scheme of things, while you're turning around and you're going, oh, let's go over there, three to five seconds, if you give it that time, it will then come back and let you know, right, actually, if you can't go down that road, then go down this road. 
There are also features in there where you can go in and say avoid part of the route, avoid this road entirely, or avoid the next 200 yards, or avoid the next two miles, and then it'll reroute from that. You can set waypoints on your route as well. So if you're, for example, you'd like to go a certain way, because that's the thing with sat navs, they don't always take you the nice scenic road. There isn't a one that says, take me on the scenic route, please. It's normally the shortest route in time or the shortest route in actual distance, and that's about it. Sometimes you can say avoid uh, toll roads or avoid ferries, but take me the scenic route. It doesn't really know much about that. So you can set waypoints to say, listen, you know, if you go there, there, and there, there, then I can go along the nice scenic route and get to my destination. And all that's quite possible again with the waypoints and everything. And it tells you how long you have to go the ETA to either each waypoint or to your destination. And you can have that uh, fluctuating in time and miles. So it kind of like flicks between the two. And again, you know, how many meters or how many minutes away to the next junction off the motorway. And the thing that I find quite useful as well is how far away, if you are on a motorway, to the next services. So when you might need petrol, fuel, or a number one. Or number two, you know, if that's what you want to do. So if you're looking to buy the TomTom Tom Start 62, if you check in the description below, there'll be a link to where you can find the best price um, to buy this. It's a link that will actually update. So if there's a deal on, or if there's a better price somewhere else, the link will update you. So you'll always get the best price possible for this and to make sure that you know you're not going to pay too much if you haven't already i'd really appreciate if you'd click subscribe i'm sure you'll like my content if you've liked the review of this video if you know somebody that might be interested in this sat nav and looking for one maybe you know it's for a, um, a present or something like that then please share it with them if you've liked the review and you thought it was interesting please hit that thumbs up button and thanks very much for watching today take care and i'll catch you on the next one bye